Hello, this is Greg Allison with Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm coming to you with installment number three of three about heating a greenhouse in the winter, aquaponics greenhouse especially. So what you see here is solar rays. And the neat thing about these is that they perform solar siphoning. So that no pumps are required. Okay, here's the solar rays for the aquaponics greenhouse. These two are operational. I had hoped to get all three operational before I produced this video. So this final video for keeping the greenhouse warm in the winter is taking some time because this has been a lot of work to fit in with the slipstream of everything else I do in my life. How this works is the following. If you come back here to the tanks, fish tanks, you can see that out of each tank there are uh, pipes coming from about mid-level and pipes coming from the bottom. These pipes are insulated as you can see because we do have cold weather here believe it or not. I know my greenhouse needs a little taping up. Uh, we did cut an entryway in here to get to this. So what happens is cold water from this tank comes in this bottom uh, pipe and runs back to the uh, solar panel. And that cold water comes in at the bottom and comes in over here. Now, these pipes are full of water and as the sun scans across the sky, and this is not a sunny day and it's almost, the sun's already set in fact, it heats these PEX pipes in here. These are PEX pipes and I can show a video of putting this stuff in later of how we built all this. In fact, I'll do that. And I've got uh, insulation over here and I've got uh, this is silicon so that the air don't escape out of here so that uh, the heat is retained. I see it looks like it needs another application. So this is all covered nicely. This stuff gets hot in here. The water expands as it heats up and then it goes back out the top and back over through there. The key thing is uh, the water level inside should be just higher than where this pipe comes out here. And it's just right at it. This pipe comes out right here and the water level inside is right about here. So the other thing about this is the angle on these is such that the shortest day of the year the sun's rays will come on them perpendicularly. And the sun's rays will also shine from the top of this and fall short of the bottom of that array. That's how I spaced them out. I'll have to show the diagram on that later, another time. But in essence, this is my solar water heating system for the aquaponics greenhouse. Part of my solution for helping to keep it warm in the winter. It helps. Uh, if I get the third system in, it'll help more. If I get more water on the other side of the other aquaponic system, it'll be more thermally stable just for having more water in the greenhouse. The water that's in here does stabilize it quite a bit. It helps. Uh, and if I put the solar rays on the next one, it'll help even more in terms of internal uh, total greenhouse heating. Now I have still been uh, taking this greenhouse and using a shop heater to help heat it on the coldest days of the winter, but just very few. I've even got this thing valve where I can add an auxiliary heating system in here to further boost the water heating. Then I'm going to build swamp coolers. So there's going to be a video on building swamp coolers. There's going to be more videos on plants. There's going to be videos on fish. There's going to be an aquaponics 101 video. Uh, I'll talk more about deep water cultures, media beds, different things. So uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel, bang the update notification bell. Please support my channel by clicking the links below. There are great links to great deals uh, with the True Leaf Market for seeds, for microgreens, seeds you can plant lettuce, seeds for aquaponics system, seeds for your garden. Also, uh, if you need worms for your garden to make compost, recycle, uh, I've got a worm farm. You can buy worms straight from me. Link below. If you're a prepper sort, there's my Patriot Supply. We ought to consider all these different things, growing your own and preparing in every way we can for what may come at us. Thank you for watching.